Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you what to do if your phone say no SIM card or is losing the signal without no reason. So the first thing you have to do, you need to turn it off your phone. So you're going to turn your phone off. After that, you need to take out the SIM card. Once you take out the SIM card, now you're going to turn your phone back on. All right, when your phone is on, you need to go to setting. It's right here. You're gonna go to apps and notification. You're gonna go to apps info. So right now it's loading, you need to wait a couple minutes. All right, when that finished, now you're gonna scroll down until you see SIM card tools. SIM card, right here, SIM to a key. You're gonna select that. And right here, all you're gonna do is four stop, right here, press okay. And then you're gonna go to storage. So clear cache and clear data. Right, after you do that, so next thing you have to do is you gotta go to setting one more time. Scroll down until you see system. Right here, you're gonna go to reset. It's right here. All right, right here, you gotta be careful. The only thing you're gonna reset is the network setting reset, right here. First option, you can see, network setting reset. You're gonna select that. Right now, so as you can see, this will reset all network settings, including Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. You're gonna reset the setting right here. Reset setting. Right, network setting has been reset, so that means now your phone is gonna detect any like SIM card, memory card. Right now, it's gonna start losing the signal. So after that, all you need to do is restart the phone. Just restart your phone. It's gonna go off and gonna turn it back on automatically. So now you're gonna put the SIM card back in the way it was. All right, after that, if you see an X on top of the signal, that means you gotta go to setting. You gotta go to network, mobile network. Right here, you need to um, select the network type. You're gonna click on that, and you're gonna select 4G recommended. The first option you can see. Now you gotta restart your phone and your phone after that is gonna work 100% good. If you still got the same problem, let me know, I'm gonna help you. And I'm gonna leave some videos on the description so that way you can go and see what type of video, different videos about the same problem. So you can choose another video and see if the other video can help you either to, and see if the other videos can help you out. And like I said, if you got any question, let me know. By the way, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, share the video, and see you next time.